Hey everyone, so we're doing a quick two minutes on urn vaults. These would be a style of an urn vault. Basically, a miniature burial vault. Same material that they are made out of. This style has a tongue seal that will go around the back of the lid has an indent where it will have epoxy. These models have been sitting here a while so that epoxy is all dried out and these are not gonna be used because they've just been models. Now, some cemeteries require these. The reason they do is because of the integrity of the ground space. That is one of the main reasons cemeteries require burial vaults for caskets as well. When that box that the cremated remains are in, if it is degradable, it will create a space that the ground then sinks into. They require these so that they have something to probe if they need to find that set of cremated remains. And then also, if they're in a wooden box or something that will degrade, they still have something encased around them. Now, many of you are going to say, this is an extra expense. Nobody needs this. You are wanting to use space and land in a cemetery. Whatever their rules are is what their rules are. You are welcome to bury the person on your own ground, in your own land, at your own home. That's completely legal. So you could do that if you don't want any restrictions. But if you want them in a common space, either a privately owned city, county, township run cemetery, you adhere to their rules. These vaults are what may be required by a cemetery, urn vaults. <laughs> 